This marsh seems quiet, but terrible things take place underwater. Stagnant waters are poor in nutrients. Once there, you've got to live by your wits. What use could these little bags be, stuck to bladderwort's roots? This is a bladderwort's leaf. It does the plant some favor. But let's leave water for a more comfortable place and sample a fragment carrying such small bladder-shaped leaves. High-speed camera is needed because... Oops! Even slowed down 10 times, it remains quick. Let's slow down much more. The prey comes closer and... Catch only lasted one millisecond. This small freshwater crustacean is still moving, but the digestive enzymes of the plants are already at work. In a few hours, only its skeleton will be left. And the plant will be enjoying its precious nutrients. Well, enjoying not always. How does it work? Small glands pump water to the outside, which creates a depression inside. Trap needs around one hour to set. Like in a bow, elastic energy is stored in the deformed material until both sides almost touch. Here it is. The trap is set, ready to catch its prey. Just touch its sensitive hairs and it reacts. This is the fastest known underwater trap. Door is the key. When depression inside the bladder is important enough, even the smallest perturbation can trigger inversion. Here also, a simulation helps understanding the deformation of the door. It first inverts its curvature and, as soon as the doorstep is passed, water flows in the underpressurized bladder, which forces a wide opening. It's like with this rubber puppet toy. Curvature inversions can generate very swift movements. Once water has flown into the bladder, door rolls its fold back to outward curvature. Then the trap is watertight again. Who is the next victim?